This idea that we live and die by a single choice is, I think, what keeps people from actually taking more risk. And, you know, if you think about the kind of classic hero's journey that we see in movies, or quite frankly, even the media, and the, the highlights we see on Instagram of somebody's journey to success, or the story we see written about someone, you know, sending the first, you know, rocket ship to the moon or to Mars. What we often celebrate is what would seem like these big, bold choices, as if it was the only choice that the person in question made. And so when you kind of look at the world through that lens, we tend to, to, to mystify this idea of there's a single choice and, you know, it's the determinant between success and failure. When, you know, what I posit, and of course my experience, and I'm sure the experience of many people you know, is if you look under the covers, that first choice was simply getting into motion and getting feedback. And it's the result of many, many choices, you know, that make or break, let's call it a single large reward or even the evolution of our careers. And so we tend to not look below the hero's journey and understand what's really going on. We only kind of celebrate the peaks of other people and thus in our own heads, we think that they must only have made a single big choice rather than seeing all the sequences of choices it, look, it, it took to unlock a success. And so I believe that that is the single critical myth that keeps most people from acting because when you believe that something is, you know, is so perfect and so hard at the same time, you, you think if I don't get it right, I better not move at all. Well, I feel like if you knew you had a hundred choices and the, and the first move is simply the first move, you have a lot more freedom to act actually.